We have said since last week uh, that we have seen preparations and buildup at the border and that an invasion could come at any time. Another day in this crisis, and really despite the diplomacy, there's no sign that it's easing. In some senses, the opposite, the Ukrainian defense minister warning today about the Russian military buildup, and President Biden saying again that there is a distinct possibility that Russia might invade Ukraine next month. Russia's military buildup continuing as the threat of war in Ukraine grows. French President Macron speaking directly to Vladimir Putin today to try to find a diplomatic solution. But while the talking continues, Moscow's escalation at the borders grows. In a show of force, Russia releasing this footage of military drills taking place in the Baltic Sea. And near Ukraine's eastern border, more Russian army exercises underway. The White House reiterating once again that it believes an invasion of Ukraine could be imminent. In a call with Ukraine's president, President Biden reaffirming US and allied readiness to respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine. But there are differences between the two on how significant the crisis and the threat of military action from Russia is. All this just a day after the United States hand-delivered its diplomatic response to Russia's demands, refusing to agree to the Kremlin's central request a guarantee that Ukraine never joins NATO. The US and its allies now awaiting a response from Putin. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov warning Russia will heed military advice on how to retaliate if its security demands aren't met. The US continuing to prepare for any possible action by Russia with 8,500 troops on high alert and US bases on standby. And in Ukraine, while urging people not to panic, officials dusting off Cold War era bomb shelters in case they're needed once again. Of course we are prepared and of course we are ready for any situation. The major winter storm threatening the east coast this weekend could bring feet of snow to some areas, along with hurricane-strength winds. This could be a wallop of a storm this weekend. Forecasters say a full-blown blizzard is possible for eastern New England. It could be the biggest snowstorm ever for Boston. Now, the biggest snowstorm Boston's ever had is 27.5 inches. It is possible that this could be the all-time biggest snowstorm in Boston. It is actually possible. That's the kind of magnitude of snow we're talking about. Winter storm watches and warnings are now posted for 35 million people. The powerful nor'easter expected to hug the coast, dumping up to four inches of snow in North Carolina, up to 10 inches in parts of New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. A shortage of plow drivers could complicate the cleanup. Some companies in Massachusetts have been paying plow drivers $300 an hour. You need to pay guys a lot more money, which means you need to make a lot more money. And on the, ba on the back side of that, you have a lot more equipment fees, fuel is up, insurance is up. So I think it's a combination between money and where the workforce goes.